Hello chess friends, today I am gonna analysis a very interesting game of Yuryevich Serpa, where he sacrificed all of his pieces. He sacrificed his knight. He sacrificed his bishop. He sacrificed his another bishop. He again sacrificed his knight. And he sacrificed his rook. He also sacrificed his queen end of the game to get pawn promotion. Maybe a grandmaster has sacrificed his so much pieces in his own game. All those sacrifices are best move, you can check my analysis report. His accuracy is 93%, however you will be totally amazed when you see the game. Let's go, Gurgery played c4. g6. You can play d4, e3. Modern variation. But Serpa chooses to play e4. Bishop g7, inaccuracy. You play e5 or c5, controlling the center square. Anyway, d4 by Serpa. d6. Knight c3. Knight f6. You can play standard opening knight f3. Bishop come out or h6. But Serpa chooses to play knight g e2, that move doesn't make any sense. You might think white can play f3, starts pushing his pawn to king's side. Because of c4, you can't castle long. There will be some problems with king's safety. Black will send his army to create troubles for you. Knight bd7 by Nicolaidis. Knight g3, he wants f4. Bishop e2. White wants four pawns in the center, that's why he move his knight two times. It's not bad actually because you have big space, controlling the center with four pawns. c6 by Nicolaidis. Bishop e2. a6. Bishop to e3. In opening rule of chess, you can play b5, e5 or h5 to break the structure and get some space for your pieces. But I would say, playing e5 is an inaccuracy move. Because white will push his pawn. And after trading pawn black have restricted structure. Queen side pawn are super weak. If black pushes his pawn, he will get worst condition of his position. Trading on a4 square. Queen takes a4 check. White will get active bishop. And after trading the a pawn, a file will be open for the rook. Black pieces are passive. And b5 is accurate because, 3 connected pawn and if white takes the pawn, the rook will get open a file. So, Nicolaidis played h5, threatening to play h4. Serpa played f3. But better move was f4, because after doing castle, there is a probability to get open f file. After knight moves to anywhere, rook will seize the open f file. And f4 move strategy is, creating an outpost for the bishop. Don't afraid of h4. Therefore you can play knight f1, knight d2 with no issue. And if you think, black will play h4, h3. Then you can play g4. Knight back to g3. Five pawns in the center, active bishops. White completely fine here because black have no attack. But Serpa played f3, not bad. Black plays b5, inaccuracy move. Better move was h4, making the knight very passive. So, the king can't castle. Then black can play b5. But he played b5 frist. c5. d takes c5. Black can't push the pawn because white simply forward the pawn and closed the position. So d takes c5. d takes c5. Queen c7. Castle. h4. Knight h1. Knight h5. Black wants bishop e5 to target the pawn. Queen d2, he can play f4, rook a d8. e5. Knight f2. Black can play short castle, but he chooses to play knight f8. He wants knight e6, knight d4. Takes, takes. Knight back to d1, protecting the pawn. 
Bishop e5, targeting the pawn, if you play h3, then bishop h2 check, king h1. Check. King takes bishop. Knight takes f1 will be fork the king and queen. And white will lose the game. So, he's striking with a4. He wants to trade the pawn and open a file for rook. a4. What would you play? Knight a2 or knight d1. He played knight d5, sacrificing his knight. Pawn takes knight. Queen takes pawn is not possible because pawn and queen together doesn't damage to black. So, e takes d5. Pawn are connected, it's a good asset. He plays f5, bad move. Best move was knight f4. Bishop, takes, pawn takes f4. Rook e1. Knight d7. d6. Queen takes c5. Rook c1. Queen d4. Bishop, takes a6 check. King goes to d8. Queen c2, threatening mate in one with supporting of pawn, because king is there. Knight c5. Bishop takes, rook takes c8. Queen e2. Mate in e7. Queen f6, protecting that square. White is winning because he have passed pawn, and black's remaining pieces are very passive. Rook have open diagonal. Anyway, Nikolaidis played f5. Threatening to play f4. d6. Queen c6. Bishop e5, he sacrificed his bishop, because pawn takes, pawn takes, rook is under attack and the queen is under attack at the same time. You have to take the bishop because it's pinned. Pawn takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn. If black plays queen b7. c6. Queen b8. Let me show the variation, otherwise you will not understand my arrow lines. Queen d5. Threatening to play d7. Bishop, takes. Pawn takes check. Knight takes pawn. Rook takes rook, and black will lose his queen because it's pinned. Therefore black will play rook takes rook. Rook takes a1, white wants bishop a7, black will face so main troubles. White is totally winning because he have three passed pawns. However, however best move was queen b7. c6. Queen b8 is a bad move. Rook takes a1, sacrificing your queen. Rook takes rook. King takes rook. Bishop, takes b7. But, black is totally losing, because white of queen, bishop and two passed pawns. Back to the position, he played queen takes b5. Rook takes a8, threatening the bishop. Queen c6, guarding the bishop. Serpa played rook f a1, creating battery of the rooks. f4, threatening the bishop. Rook a17. You can't take the bishop, for example. If pawn takes bishop happen, rook takes bishop. Queen takes c8. Rook e7 check. King goes to d8. Queen takes b4. e takes f2 king takes f2. Knight e6. Queen b6 check. Knight c7. Rook takes c7. Threatening to play rook e7 mate, with queen and rook. So, king e8. Rook takes queen. Black will lose his queen and his game. Back to the position. Nicolaidis played knight e7. He wants to castle short. Serpa is a stockfish subscriber, he goes for brilliant level. He takes the bishop with his rook. It's a brilliant move, because frist thing frist you have to take the rook. Queen d5, cutting off the castling root. And he wants queen e6 check. Rook takes knight and queen f8 mate. Black takes the bishop. Queen e6 check. King f8. The knight is under attack. He says I am a stockfish subscriber, 
I will sacrifice my another knight to deliver checkmate to Black's king. He played rook takes d7. Nicolaidis says ok let me capture your knight with a check. King takes f2 is a blunder because of queen takes c5 check, Black will manage to create some counterplay with his queen and knight. So, king f1. It's a umbrella pawn. Queen e8. I want you guys pause the video and try to find best move for Serpa, go. Ok time up. If you think rook to e7, then you are wrong. Because of queen b5 check, white's king will face windmill. Game will be changed. Knight is very aggressive. If you find a good move look for better one. If you find rook f7, then you are correct. He played queen takes rook. Queen c8, check. Queen e8. d7. King f7. And after some moves later, he played c6. You can't take because the pawn will get promotion. e4. c7. e3, he wants this? Pawn promotion. So after some moves later, he sacrificed his queen to make a another queen. You can't take the pawn, because knight f4 will be a fork king and queen. So king takes f2. Bishop e3 check. You can't take the bishop because pawn will be promoted. Also you can't take the pawn because knight will fork your king and queen. He played king e1. And Nicolaidis resigned. Let's see how the game will be end. Thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care. See you in my next video.